What's going on, Martin? What's happening, Brian? How you doing? Good, man. Christopher Martin, the ATL profile. Big fan of you and the family. Thank you, man. Uh, this is Haunted House 2. Uh, this genre of films, we see Jason from Friday the 13th, about eight, nine of them. Michael yeah. Meyer, another six, seven. Freddy Krueger. Is uh, Malcolm going to do eight or nine of these? Do you see uh, the genre of this going that long? I'm a Freddy Krueger in this franchise. <laughs> <laughs> you see, they go, Negro, didn't you die in the first one? Yeah, I did, uh, apparently, but uh, yeah, I, I plan on, like, I'm not just going to do these, but I wanted to do part one and part two and kind of just set the franchise up. Um, I did part one, and I wasn't thinking like part two, and then uh, The Conjuring came out, and I was sitting there, and I was watching that, me and my producer brought it, and he was like, oh man, you know be a fun story, love? And then we watched a couple of the movies, like in Insidious, and, and then we just found a storyline. And a lot of times, like in these movies, I keep telling people it's not a parody. It's a, it's a different kind of movie. It's a horror comedy with parody moments. And I, it's hard for people to wrap their head around it because it don't make no damn sense. But it's its own story that really is it, it, it's it's onto itself. It's not a direct parody like oh scene by scene and we're doing funny commercials. No, it's just it just so happens to be a story and some of the things are similar. And then you got some scenes that you send up. But for the most part, it's just original. But yeah, I, I plan on doing a, a bunch of these. And it's good to have a franchise that, you know, you control and that somebody can't, you know, rip from you. You know, it's kind of like, this bag is mine. No, you, you can't take my bag. You can take it first. I like that one. Anyway. You notice in the trailer that Essence isn't in or doesn't appear to be. Oh, she's in it. Oh, she's in it? Oh, yeah. Okay, right. so, I can't, can't do that movie without that girl. I love her. She's, you know, I, I call her set life. If I can have a wife on set, it would be her. She's just so great to work with and so much fun, and she's a great, a big part of the franchise. So I wouldn't, no, she's, she's a part of it. You know, and she's going to be a part of the franchise probably throughout. You know, I, I love this. Okay, nice. Right, because I didn't, we didn't, I didn't see her. Um, from she's in the poster, look, right there behind me. The, the spooky, crazy one right there. Don't ever get your ass. So they just have a, a new girlfriend with two kids. Yeah, I just changed the storyline though. Because I thought in the first one, what we did was we kind of maximized the one-on-one -on -one kind of relationship, me and her, and it went to a different place. It was good to go to a different well. And what I wanted to do was open the movie up, just, you know, I think, for uh, the overall experience. I wanted it to be... I don't know if cast a spell on me. I was like, am I a frog? Am I a frog? <laughs> Like, um, uh, uh, what's the name of that movie? Uh, it's an old school movie about Amityville Horror. You know, they remade that classic. You know, it had a, a, a stepdad, two kids, and a mom. And it, it just gave us an interesting story, insidious. Um, a lot of those things, you know, for what they, we are doing with this movie, had some similar, uh, similar kind of uh, structure. So we kind of just borrowed that. And we thought it'd be good to open up the world, not just in terms of the uh, black-white experience. It, it, we thought it'd be fun to have the white girl there to have her a naive point of view so that you got that, no, 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 you don't open that door. You know, it's actually somebody to talk to constantly. And, and then lastly, we have a Latino next door neighbor, which is Gabriel Iglesias, because, you know, it just opens up you to the, to the Latin audience. So it's just a more inclusive experience, but Keisha's a part of it. And, you know, she's just playing that, you know, the ex-girlfriend, you know? Like, how did you find inspiration for the, the second movie, you know, to kind of top that? I don't even know if that's topical, but... I don't think that was, hey, I think you're topping my knowledge with the stuff that I had on the book. I didn't go, I didn't try to top it. I just found a different avenue. You know, when you do comedy, it's just new wells, you know, it's a new topic. So you kind of riff on that topic and you riff on that those situations, but I didn't, the humor in this one, I think, is actually, is turned up, because I think Malcolm is put upon. Like the first one, it was kind of like things was happening. This one, it's happening from so many different angles. It's like, the daughter has this little box that's haunted, that's from the possession. Um, Malcolm, uh, they find this little creepy doll in the house, and 
It's haunting him. They find, you know, the, the, the little boy got an imaginary friend. There's all this stuff going on and he's just put upon. So a lot of the humor comes from him unraveling. And at a point in the movie, he just looks crazy. But it, it's, it's dope. So it, it, it's different. But a lot of people like this when we've had screenings. A lot of people like this one better than the last one. And I, I, to me, that I, I take that as a compliment because, you know, the last one had some big laughs. And this, this one has some huge... Big, big, big guys. So, um, I know she made a comment about, you know, being younger, your, your brothers always used to tell you what to do, now you get paid to do it. How important for it was it for you to have been involved in this franchise moving forward? Um, you know, I, it, it, I wanted them involved, I always want my brothers involved, but, you know, it felt good to do something on my own. You know what I mean? It's like, they taught me so much, it's like, you know, Finally, you know, as a, as a Jedi, you get to use the Force. And, you know, they're with me in every movie I do, they have my sense of humor. But, I, you know, it was good to have them. You know, I took the plane with Ivory, who was going to Europe, and uh, I showed him a, a, a cut of the movie, and I was scared. I said, you know, like a seat back and sweat. Like, if he, if he don't like me, is he gonna spank me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he did spank me. I was like, oh, that man, you know, your brother, big brother spank you. It's, it's, one thing your daddy's making, but your brother making, oh, just punch you in the chest. You know? <laughs> so I just heard him laughing. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. And after the movie, he goes, that's a good job. <laughs> you made a funny movie. And I was, that meant the world to me, you know? And even Damon, Crazy Damon came to the premiere and he was like, I only saw the last 15 minutes when I left. So, you know, it feels good, you know, uh, and, and, you know, and, and it's good to do a combination. I always work with my brothers, you know. We're actually talking about doing our first, first ever Wayne's Brothers tour, uh, me, Sean, Keenan, and Damon next year. We just played, uh, my brothers did a casino. They was doing uh, the House of Blues in uh, Atlantic City on Valentine's Day. It was just Sean, Damon, Keenan, and, uh, yeah, look, I get confused. It was Tito and Jackie, um, <laughs> <laughs> it was just Damon and Keenan originally, and then Sean was like, I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna perform. I'm not gonna pay until to go show up. And I was like, alright, well, if you're gonna crash the stage, I'm gonna crash the stage too. And the audience wasn't even expecting that. And, you know, they left there, you know, you get four different ways and four different points of view of life, society. They was, man, their faces hurt. You know, people was like, mascara was running, running around, a spooky running out, and I was like, y'all just too crazy. <laughs> And you know, so we're always going to do stuff together, but it's good to do things separate too. Kingsman Media Group.